Hi guys, how is everyone doing today? I am coming with a very, very simple recipe for you guys. And that's no other but pumpkin, but today I'm using the butternut squash. And this is so, so simple. I'm gonna do it vegetarian style for all my vegetarian friends. And this is so nutritious, like very, very butternut squash is so sweet and so nutritious. So we're gonna go and we're gonna prepare a butternut squash today and we're gonna have it with sada roti. Guys, for the pumpkin that I'm cooking today, I'm using butternut squash because it's such a sweet, hearty um, squash. And I'm gonna cut it up. This is the one I'm using. So I'm, I just wanna show you guys. You can use any kind, but um, I like to use a butternut squash because there is not, like when you cook it, there is no water or anything. It's all pumpkin and it's so sweet. So I'm gonna just cut it up and then I'll show you guys the next step. So here is that butternut squash that I cut up and this is what I'm gonna cook the pumpkin. I'm gonna do a vegetarian style without any meat or shrimp or fish or anything like that. But this is a very, very nice um, vegetarian dish to have. It's very rich in nutrients and it's very, so good for you. So for the pumpkin, these are the ingredients I'm gonna use. I have four headless green onion. I have here three cloves of garlic and I have one small onion and I have here a quarter of a hot pepper. You did, did you show here? Oh. Quarter of a hot yeah. pepper. And I have my pumpkin. I'm actually using butternut squash cut up and I have it in some water here. And once I finish cutting up all the ingredients, I will show you guys how I put it together. onions the green onion and the pepper and it's okay we'll pick that later so I'm gonna add everything to the pan so it's starting to fry now and I have about half a teaspoon of coconut oil in the pan I don't like to put too much oil I can hear it sizzling can you hear it ma? yeah yeah so I'm gonna let this sweat out for a minute or so so the the flavor from the ingredients can open up a little and it's a very small butternut squash that I'm using so that's why I'm not putting that much seasoning it's just a little one and for all my vegetarian friends this is another dish for you to enjoy another recipe for you um, butternut squash is very high and rich in nutrients or pumpkin is very very rich in nutrients so I try to consume it in my house as much as I can. It's really good for soups as well. I do have a recipe for butternut squash soup for all those who are new to my channel. You would love that recipe for butternut squash soup because Matthew can tell you guys how delicious that is. Butternut squash soup. Yeah. Is it a good soup? Yep. So in this bowl here, I have my butternut squash all cut up and it's in some water. I like to wash it before I put it in. And I'm gonna add everything now, not water though. And this butternut squash, I remember back home sometimes when we cook pumpkin and it's not sweet. My mom used to add a little bit of sugar, but butternut squash is so, so sweet. You don't even have to add sugar. I like to cook this but rather than cooking um, regular pumpkin because it is always sweet, like so sweet. I never 
buy a butternut squash and it's not sweet. So in here, I'm gonna add just a teaspoon of salt and then I'll taste later to see if I have to add more. So just a teaspoon. And then we will stir this up. And this dish is so simple, basic ingredients that you have in your kitchen, onion, garlic, green onion, pepper. If you don't like your spicy, you can leave the pepper out. And pretty much that's what you add. I usually add some roasted jeera in mine, but I'm gonna let this cook for two minutes and then I'll come back and check it out before I add my um, roasted jeera. So let's check this, see how it's doing. It is losing a lot of its natural water and juice and I can see it's mashing up already. So at this point here, I'm gonna add my roasted cumin or jeera and that adds another level of flavor to this. If you don't like cumin or jeera, you don't have to add it, you can leave it out, but I just like to add it for an extra flavor. So here I'm going to add my one teaspoon of roasted jeera and this really guys, this really really adds a very nice flavor to this um, butternut squash. So what I'm going to do at this moment, if you notice, I like to cover butternut squash when I'm cooking it and when you cover it, I find that it's, it gets very soft and easy to mash and sometimes if you can't get it to mash and it ha it's a little bit long, it takes a little bit longer, all I usually do is take a potato masher and when it's at this stage, I just mash the whole thing and help, help it to cook faster. This is perfect. I'm just gonna mash it up a little bit more and maybe in the next minute or so, I'll take this off. So here is that beautiful butternut squash or pumpkin. It's done for all my pumpkin or butternut squash lovers. Here it is, so simple, very easy to make. So I'm gonna plate and I'm having this with a sada roti today. I just love pumpkin with sada roti. So this dish you can have with rice, you can have it with oil roti, you can have it with any um, naan or bread of yours. So here is my plate with pumpkin and I have some of my mango achar and my sada roti and this is my dinner today. I am just gonna dive in right now. The roti just came off the stove. So I have to be careful. I'm just gonna take a little tiny piece because it's super, super, super hot. You can see the steam, Jess? Yeah. Look, if I do like that, ooh. Look. Can you see? Yeah. Super hot. So I'm gonna dive in. I like to eat it with some of this, the mango achar, and then some of the pumpkin. And this is my pumpkin vegetarian dish. For all my viewers and all my subscribers, sometime I wish you guys can taste these dis these dishes with me, but I'm gonna taste for you guys. And for all those who have um, recipe that they requested, please give me some time. I'm gonna get them done one by one. Please leave me your comments and let me know what you would like me to make next. Please remember to support the One Guy and a Food Festival cookbook when it come out. It's gonna have some very, very nice recipe. Cheers guys. Mm. Guys, so satisfying. The butternut squash is so delicious. It's so sweet. And the hint of the roasted jeera guys, so amazing. This is such a nice dinner to have with the mango achar and everything here. It's just a satisfying dish. So if you like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my video yet or my channel, please, you only have to subscribe to one video. Until then, you guys stay blessed. Bye for now.